My name is Dr. Mary Beckman, and I, the course we're talking about today is EDTC 5460. It's curriculum design, and one of my students was Mark. And my name is uh, Mark Garasha. I'm finishing uh, my master's in uh, social science education, and I just recently finished taking the class with Mary, and it was a wonderful experience that I would like to share. Um, I guess one of the things that really stood out for me from that class was um, taking curriculum design was obviously an area that is important when you're when you're becoming a teacher and so you take a lot of theory classes and you take a lot of classes where you know you wonder how can I use this information and one of the, the things that I love most about your classes there was stuff that we did that week that I was using in my classes um, teaching at the community college you know that week I was like all right this is great let's 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 get this in there and um, you know I think te teachers are always trying to show you, hey if we learn this this is where you can use it and learners are always asking how are we ever going to use this information well I mean it when you can use that information available that makes all the difference in the world and it, it encouraged me to want to get even further involved with the class and and keep going and, and you know I, I say this honestly like I was looking forward to what was going to be next you know in class which I can't say that I always feel throughout my studies. So That's good to hear, very good to hear, <laughs> because that's what we strive to do um, when we created this class. We wanted to do, uh, we wanted to have activities and lessons that you could use right away. And we wanted to show how to develop it, how to develop the use of it, how to get students involved in it while we were trying to get the students who were enrolled in the class engaged in it. So it was like a two-dimensional that we were trying to help instructors help have help with their students and uh, one of the things that stood out with Mark right away is so often in emails with family and friends you could feel the excitement and you could feel the, the positive attitude and with Mark's introductory email uh, post discussion post right away I could see he was enthusiastic he was positive and what really stood out was this was his last class and he didn't have to take it so it was really um, very nice to have someone that energetic and his, he led the class in many, many areas throughout almost the entire class, which is uh, hard to do. And his work was above and beyond what I expected. And it was just, he, he, was just, he just stood out the whole time. Well, I appreciate that. There's, there's a tough competition. There are some really strong students in that class too. And I think that's one of the other things that made the class really good is you could see what other people are doing and think, wow, that was a great idea too. So I definitely learned some things from some of my peers throughout it, you know, because a lot of those were open-ended kind of assignments like, hey, you know, find, you know, a program or an application and, and how you can use that in the classroom. So, you know, I think people posted some things that I didn't know about that weren't necessarily in the curriculum itself that I found to be useful and thought, wow, you know, that was great. And it was one of the classes that had more students in it than normal, I would say, throughout the program I've had and I think that diversity of different backgrounds you know there weren't they weren't all students who were going to be teachers I think that right. brought uh, a, a nuanced understanding to some of the technological applications that we used in that course and uh, you know I, I, I wouldn't be where I am without some of those other students you know pushing me to want to be as good as they are doing you know because when you're doing an online class you can see a lot of other people's work and you're kind of benchmarking yourself against what they did, so I didn't want to look any any less polished than any of their answers, and so I felt, you know, a friendly competition with them, thinking, you know, yes. I need to make sure I bring my A game so that I'm not uh, somebody who looks like, you know, they're they're behind the ball. It was a competitive class, and that always makes it interesting. And there was a diverse group of students in that one because we had uh, teachers. Uh, students who were going to become teachers, some teachers who were leaving the field going into business, and some in the business sector. So we had those four different conflicting, um, everyone was finding the same type of app, but they were applying it to their specific. Right. So it was a friendly competition and it was fun. I'm glad you mentioned about the discussion because there has been um, a little bit of talk of what's best. Do we keep the conversations open, the discussion posts, so everyone can see? Do we require them to post first and then they're able to see? Mm -hmm. Or do we keep everything closed? And I like in that class in particular to keep everything open because there is a lot of sharing. 
and it goes back and forth. And then you get more ideas on how to use something or how to search for something that we're that we're doing. Yeah. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, I I've I've seen that discussion about, you know, should we close it off before, you know, we let people expose what they've written, you know, once they've written something themselves. Uh I think personally, like I with a class that big, I felt more inspired to post earlier than I do in other classes because I was like I want to say something to get the the party started, and also I don't want to say I don't want someone to take my thought and you know they use it first, and yes. then I think I was going to say the same thing. Why mm -hmm. didn't I just post that? And then it looks like you know then I have to come up with a completely new idea <laughs> because you know one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to repost you know what someone else said. Yes. Um, you know especially you know at a graduate level, I don't think you have to worry as much about people kind of copying up what other people think. I think we all have our own agendas. And, uh, you know, I, I used it a lot for inspiration when someone did have something. I thought, well, you know, and I didn't think about it that way. Maybe I'll change my approach or something. I'd read someone's and say, you know what, I, I see where they're coming, but I'm going to actually counter, you know, what they're doing and go a completely mm -hmm. different direction because the way that I interpreted things. But I think you should take credit because you helped moderate that discussion and you were very active as an instructor where, where I've had some teachers where... You know, they just let the students say whatever, and they don't really comment or anything, or they just say, okay, you know, good point, or something like that. Like, I look forward to, you know, when I got my grades to see what you had to say um, about what I said as well. And so it really encouraged me to want to keep doing because I think, you know, I'm not just doing it for a grade. You know, I, I was confident I was going to get a good grade anyway, but to get your feedback and to be able to apply that in future discussions, assignments, and also in, in my own professional endeavors that was so meaningful for me as a student and it's something that you know you'd like to take for granted but really not every teacher does it that way so I really appreciated that style as a as an online learner it's nice to be appreciated thank you <laughs> it's um, I'm in a position where I can leave the computer on 24 7 and often in the middle of the night if I want to get a drink or whatever and since it's a worldwide campus some students their nights are our days and uh, I like to reply to students uh, within like two or three hours and it's nice that you notice that and the comments that I make um, I appreciate that uh, the feedback from the students because a lot of thought goes into comments and you don't want to just copy and paste the same comment to every right. student because every student's assignment is a little different and they put more work into one thing whereas someone else puts more work into another so you have to read between the lines in an online class because there are no facial expressions there <laughs> there's no eye contact right so you have to grasp a feeling of where that student's coming from and their their background and what they want to do with the material that they're learning and so the comments pertain to how they could use that in their particular field and you know i would i would make notes like this person is doing this currently and this person's goal is to do that so i tried to make the comments on the assignments geared to how they were going to use it. So it's nice that you that you noticed that and Absolutely. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, that. I think and I think one of the other things that really set you apart from other instructors that I had is you took a personal interest in my life outside the classroom and and the ability to just be able to talk about things that weren't necessarily completely about, you know, designing course curriculum you know, kind of humanize the interaction, even if I wasn't standing in front of you. So, you know, for you to make yourself available through text, I think it's such a huge thing because not all teachers do that, for one. And I, I like to text. Um, you know, my wife can probably tell you that I, I do it more than she would appreciate. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's my main mode of con conversation and, and understanding things. And so I think there's online classes, you're always worried, like, am I reading the instruction correctly? Am I doing, you know, what this wants to do? And the, the comfort to know that I could text you and you'd be like, yeah, you're on the right track or no, you know, maybe you should think about that. That was really helpful, but also that you took that interest in my life, you know, and say, hey, you know, how'd you bowl? You know, something like that. I mean, it, it, yeah, that it, was fun following Well, that. you know what? I mean, it, it, it's so, it's so <laughs> trivial, but I mean, that's the type of thing, you know, that when we, when we teach, you know, at high school and elementary, you know, middle school, whatever it is, you take that personal interest in their lives. I mean, that's what builds relationships and, 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 fosters you know uh, a growth for what you're trying to accomplish there and that's why I felt more connected to the class because of the efforts that you made to reach out to me and, and care about not that I wasn't this faceless person who's just you know 
just typing the number. up. Right. Mm -hmm. And and it and the thing about it is like I said, that was a larger class. So I mean, I don't think every student takes into consideration how long it takes for you to read through everything. I mean yes. you know, as a teacher myself, you know, I mean it takes a while grading takes a long time. It does. And so for you yes. to, to personalize your responses and take your time out of your day to talk to me and to be available basically twenty four seven, I mean that that inspired me to want to do better work as as opposed to when other teachers are less responsive doesn't seem like they care as much it's like well i'm going to do what they say and just you know make sure i get the a but for you i was like i want to make sure that i i give her something that she's going to enjoy looking at and you know hopefully get something out from herself your assignments were a joy to read that was a very good class it um, it, it was a large class but we had a lot of different interests in there, and as my friends and family members can tell you, I just love to talk, so, <laughs> so I love text too. And I love to learn about the students' outside interest, because then it also can bring it into the class. And I enjoyed the bowling, the scores. <laughs> I learned about that, and I would take that and ask somebody a question. What does this mark mean, or what does that one mean? What does, what does this symbol right. mean? So it's learning for me too. I learn from students and classes. It's enjoyable.